All right, welcome to this student perspective interview. Today in the studio, I have Jackson and Macy, and I brought them in because I'd like to discuss about the FPA challenge, learning a little bit about what the experience was like for them and uh, how they did in that challenge and maybe some information for what future teams can do as well. So, so Macy, first of all, could you just tell us a little bit, what was the, what was the challenge? Yeah, so the challenge kind of included us looking at a case competition from the FPA. Mm -hmm. um, and it was basically mock clients who kind of gave their current financial kind of status or role of where they were at today. And also some kind of areas that they needed help on, mm -hmm. some goals that they had for their future. And it was kind of our responsibility to kind of look at that, take that and kind of create a plan from there. Okay, so you created a, a full financial plan for them. Yeah. And so, Jackson, anything to add to that? Was it how, how big was this plan? It was a pretty sizable plan. I think the final document ended up being 69 pages long. 69 pages. So when? So tell us a little bit about the timeline. When is this like the first part of the competition? You write this plan. Mm -hmm. and so there's three phases to the competition. The first phase was a written plan, which we started, I believe, in February. Okay. And wrap that up around the end of May. Mm -hmm. Then the second phase and the third phases happened at the national conference once we made it to the top eight. Okay. And so those phases was a presentation for the second phase. And then the third phase was a quiz bowl. Cool. So, so you had to make it to the top eight. So you guys obviously made it, you made it to the top eight. Yeah. And, and this year the competition was where? In Phoenix. In Phoenix. So close by to us here in Tucson. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so tell us a little bit about that. So so you, you create this plan, but then you go to Phoenix to do the actual parts two and three. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, that experience was, I would say, amazing, kind of experience, like, I don't know, life changing in a way, um, because we were able to take the work that we worked on for, like Jackson said, months, mm -hmm. and kind of be able to present that to these mock clients mm -hmm. and kind of be able to integrate into that role of what an advisor would look like and be like. And so that for me was an amazing experience. Um, and yeah, so we basically took that written plan and made a PowerPoint slide presentation and kind of highlighted three of the, our main most important like parts of the plan that we thought were super important to the client's goals. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what we presented on and it was amazing. How did you think it went? I think it went outstanding. Yeah, How, so tell us where did you finish overall when it was all said and done? We finished third overall. Third overall third in the overall. nation. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, that's Thank super you. cool. Yeah. Uh, to my knowledge, that, that is the, uh, the highest finish of any UA team. And so that's, that's awesome. So what would you, other teams, you know, thinking in the future, if there were other teams, what would you recommend that they, first of all, would you recommend that other people do it, other students? Absolutely. It was such a great experience having to pr prepare and provide such a comprehensive document and plan. Mm -hmm. And it really, it could have been like a capstone. It was really comprehensive. It was a huge time commitment, but it was really worth it because it's what you're actually doing when you get out into the real world. It's preparing a plan for a client, presenting that plan, and you're going to have to deal with certain things like deciding where you want to take the solution. So it is certainly something that, one, you can use it as a resume builder, and two, just the experience and meeting the people that you meet at the conference and just preparing the plan. It's kind of nice or cool to know that you could prepare a 69-page document by hand if you had to. That's awesome. Macy, yeah. anything to add to that? Yeah, I mean, it also requires some additional research as well, which was super helpful for me in the process because I know going through the classes is obviously one thing, but kind of taking that and applying it to the case that we did helped me learn and grow in a way that I think would be very successful for my future. Like Jackson said, it's doing the real thing. You know, you're building that plan for that client, you're helping with their solutions and it's kind of like in your hands to do it. And it was a really cool experience. That's awesome. And so, so again, you would definitely recommend that other students do this uh, FPA case challenge. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you both for your perspective. Appreciate that you came into the uh, studio today. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you.